there and uh, welcome to my February book wrap up. I'm still trying to figure out a place that's good in my house to film because it is a cave and there's very little natural light and what there is is like entirely too bright uh, and you can't see my eyes. I feel like I'm on one of those animes with the shiny glasses, you know, but anyway, tangent. My head feels like it's filled with concrete, so sorry if my voice is a little stuffed up. We're standing in my office today. I couldn't find any chairs that were tall enough to make this work. Anyway, books, February, let's do this. I realized in my last video that I didn't really uh, talk about what most of the books were about, so I'm gonna try to do a little better this time. So the first book was Something New by Lucy Nisley, I think I'm saying that right. She's one of my favorite like comic artists and stuff. I've been following her since the Tumblr days. But anyway, so this was about her experience of getting married and trying to have like a mostly do-it-yourself wedding. And we're roughly the same age and have had very similar life experiences. So like this was kind of fun to read about and it brought back a lot of <laughs> memories. Have you ever gotten married? Cause it's kind of like a huge hassle. Uh, um, I wouldn't recommend it. The wedding was nice, but everything leading up to it, nightmare scape. Great, it was funny, informative, great illustrations, obviously. Uh, if you, if that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Book number two was, uh, The Victory Garden. Uh, this one was one of the Kindle First books. Sometimes I get those if I don't have anything to read because uh, they just downloaded my Kindle and it's free and it's something to fill the time until my next library request comes in. This one was pretty good. I rated this a four star. Like, it wasn't like super heavy reading and it was pretty predictable, but there was like a, uh, a kind of like a little mystery involved and um, there was like witchcraft, apothecary stuff with herbs and all that, which I'm super into. So I'll give you a little bit of a description here. Oh gosh, why is this description in German? Trying to remember what the plot gives, a, what the book review itself gives away so that I can not give you any spoilers. But anyway, I think if I remember correctly, the Kindle re like details told me that it was about a girl in World War One, who falls in love with a fighter pilot and he gets her pregnant and then dies and so she goes to another town because she doesn't want her parents to find out or something like that, I don't know. Um, and then there's a uh, mysterious witch journals involved. So it's that kind of like, kind of cozy British setting, if you know, like a small town. She moves to a small town and does gardening and stuff like that, if you're into that sort of thing, which I am, uh, maybe check this one out. The next book I read was Social Justice Parenting. I enjoyed this one a lot. Um, this one was just on the library shelf at the library and it was, I keep holding these books too long. Uh, I, it was something that I uh, am interested in personally as a parent, so I picked that up and it was very interesting. A lot of it, it, it was, it was kind of, like a a bit of a little bit of a whiplash kind of for me because the author was very like personable and fun and like she put a very like positive parenting spin on all of her information but at the same time like absorbing the differences for me raising a white child and her raising a black child it is really sad like there's stuff that I would never even think about to teach my child that she has to take into consideration when teaching her child how to you know operate in society and that bumps me out I hate that this is still a thing but that's why it's important to read this book so that we are aware of these sorts of things and can you know teach our kids stuff that's important even though you might think oh well they're too young to be learning about racism but like not everybody gets the opportunity to not learn about racism. Some people experience it as children and that sucks. So yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I'm giving my, my child the most critical of critical race theory uh, teaching. Um, and that's not one of those reasons I'm glad I'm homeschooling. If you are also a parent and you are trying to kind of figure out how to bring these things up with your children without it feeling like an after-school special, you know, 
I think, sorry, I think definitely check that out. It was good. I think I gave it four stars. The last book in this video uh, is The Girl in the Tower. This is the uh, the second book in the Winter Night Trilogy series. Now, uh, spoiler alert, and I'm recording this in the middle of March, and I finished the last book in the series, and like, chef's kiss. Uh, but anyway, so this book in particular picks up exactly where the previous book left off. Basically this story, the first book, oh, I guess I read the first book last year before I even got a chance to start making these videos. But anyway, so in the first book we're in like medieval Russia and there's a girl who has like the sight she can see, like all the like fairies or demons or whatever you want to call them. And uh, a bunch of things happened and she had to leave her home um, and she was going to Moscow. And this book picks up, like, right there when she's on her way to Moscow to find her sister and her brother. And a lot of things happen that I don't want to give away. So it's kind of hard to give you a review for this book if you didn't read the first one. But I will say go read this trilogy because it's super great. And uh, if you're into, let's see, medieval Russia, cold winter, like, rustic... Uh, fairy tale, magic, witchcraft, standoffish, magical dudes who are attractive and, uh, you know, aloof. That's right up my alley. Um, and if it's up your alley, I would definitely recommend checking, checking this trilogy out. So yeah, that's all the books I read in February. It was kind of a slow reading month. It was kind of a slow everything month, but, you know, sometimes it goes like that. But I still hit my one every week, right? That was four, four books, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, four books, four weeks, whatever. Short month, I don't care. Doing better in March. But yeah, so I think I did a little bit better of a job telling you what these books are about this time. If you have any pointers or questions or comments, um, let me know below and I'll try and make this better. <laughs> um, I am very passionate about reading. I'm not super good at talking about reading, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs>